I'm Jason. The world is yours. And today we are going over the NFL stats, running backs, league leaders after NFL week one. In this series, we basically look at the top rushing yards um, and basically touchdowns and any other stats we have for running backs after uh, each NFL week one. We're only one week into the season. We will continue this after every week. But after the first week in the NFL season, Saquon Barkley is your rushing leader with rushing yards at 164 yards. Barkley plays for the New York Giants. The Giants went on the road and they defeated the Tennessee Titans. Uh, second is Jonathan Taylor at 160. One rushing yards. Uh, Taylor plays for the Colts and Colts. Um, they went on the road and they tied the Houston Texans. Swift, um, I believe that's for the the D Detroit Lions. The D uh, Detroit Lions, 144 yards for DeAndre Swift. Um, the Detroit Lions lost their game at home versus the Eagles. Nick Chubb um, for... Cleveland Browns, uh, Chubb had 141 rushing yards. Uh, the Browns won on the road versus the um, Carolina Panthers. Leonard Fournette, 127 rushing, 127 rushing yards. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers went on the road and they defeated the Dallas Cowboys. Um, Patterson, I believe that's for the Jaguars, right? I believe that's the Jaguars. Patterson played 120 rushing yards for Patterson, and the Jags lost on the road. Um, the Sanders is, I believe that's the Eagles, 96 rushing yards. Eagles won on the road versus the um, Lions. Uh, uh, Cook, Cook won, play, uh, plays for the Minnesota Vikings. Cook had 90 rushing yards. Um, Minnesota Vikings won their first game at home versus the um, Green Bay Packers. You can see Jalen Hurts on this list. Uh, the first quarterback we've seen. I don't know if we will count uh, Taysom Hill, but uh, Jalen Hurts starting quarterback had 90 rushing yards. I did not know that. Um, that's a lot of rushing yards for a quarterback. Right versus the Detroit Lions, but Jalen Hurts, the starting quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles, had 90 rushing yards for um, Philadelphia, and they won their game um, at home, on the road versus the Lions. King Henry, Derrick Henry, only 82 rushing yards. That's a little bit surprising. Remember, the Tennessee Titans did lose their first game at home versus the um, Giants. And, you know, like I said, Saquon Barkley was in that game, right? And if it was up to me, I, I would have taken Derrick Henry over to over Barkley to have more rushing yards. But Saquon Barkley had basically double, right? Isn't that exactly double? Not great with math, but I believe 82 plus 82 is 164 yards. Don't quote me, but Saquon Barkley... King Henry is sitting on a bench watching Saquon Barkley lead the league at home. That had to be tough. Uh, Joe Mixon, 82 yards. Taysom Hill um, plays for the Saints, 81 rushing yards. Where did that come from? That's interesting. Marcus Mariota, look at that, another quarterback. It's interesting to see so many quarterbacks on this list, right? Um, I mean, you consider Hill a quarterback, Hurts is a starting quarterback, and Marcus Mariota is a starting quarterback for the Falcons. And the Falcons lost at home versus the Saints. But the Mariota had 72 rushing yards. James Robinson had 66. Isaiah had 62. Uh, Carter had 60. Penny had 60. Gibson had 60. I, I believe Gibson plays for the Commanders, right? So, um, is anyone else on this list for the Commanders? Because that's a little bit surprising. The Commanders did win their game at home versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, Wentz had a really good game. I think he threw four touchdowns in that game. But Gibson only had 58 yards rushing. Was that the Jaguars' um, defense? What's going on there? Uh, Mel uh, Gordon, uh, 58. Josh... Uh, Jacobs only had 56 rushing yards for the Los 
Vegas Raiders. They lost their game on the road versus the Chargers. They need more. They need more production from uh, Jacobs. Uh, Josh Allen had 56. Look, another thing. Look at all these quarterbacks here. Josh Allen had 56 starting quarterback for the um, Buffalo Bills. Trey Lance. Trey Lance on this list did not throw a touchdown, but he had 54 rushing yards for the San Francisco 49ers. They lost their game on the road to the Chicago Bears. Elliott only, Ezekiel Elliott only had 52 rushing yards for the Cowboys. Uh, Debo Samuel, look at him, signed a big contract and he's still running the ball as, as uh, their wide receiver. He got 52 yards rushing. As I said, the um, 49ers lost that game. And Aaron Jones, I believe, is that the first um, Packer, right? Yeah, Aaron Jones, only 49 rushing yards for the Packers. The Packers got beat up pretty bad um, in that game. Let me see. Cook, how much did Cook had? Cook only had 90 yards, so it wasn't too too much of a difference there. Okay, let's see. Um, so as of right now, Barkley is in the lead f with the Giants, and Taylor is right behind him. You have to keep an eye on Taylor because I think um, during this season, the Colts are probably going to rely on Taylor a little bit more than um, the Giants rely on Barkley. Let's see um, touchdowns. Who who's leading the league in touchdowns for um, the NFL? Jamal Williams. Let me see. Okay, so it's super early in the season. The league leader right now is Jamal Williams with two touchdowns, two rushing touchdowns. And then look, Josh Allen with one rushing touchdown. Barkley had one. Um, James had one. Dylan had one. And then there's just a bunch of ones you see. Are these quarterbacks? Look at this is so crazy. Look how many quarterbacks on this list. We probably might as well just mention because there's so many ones. But Mariota, starting quarterback for the Falcons, had one. Uh, starting Baker Mayfield, was starting quarterback for Carolina Panthers, has one rushing touchdown. Look at that. Okay, okay. Nothing, nothing too crazy. You can see not too many uh, rushing touchdowns in the league. Jonathan Taylor did get one touch, rushing touchdown, 164 yards, and um, Barkley had one rushing touchdown. So that's basically all the stats we're going to cover for the uh, running backs um, as of right now after NFL Week 2. Your league leader in rushing yards is Saquon Barkley. I, I mean, after week one, excuse me. The uh, rushing leader uh, in rushing yards after NFL week one is Saquon Barkley at 164 yards. Um, I am Jason. The world is yours. Today we were looking at the NFL stats, rushing, uh, running back, um, rushing yards and t uh, touchdowns for the running backs after NFL week one. Let me know who's your favorite running back and who do you think will lead the league in rushing yards and rushing touchdowns after NFL week two. Thank you for watching.